What's up guys? It's me Wino. I haven't made a video in a good while, dude. I haven't been on Facebook. I haven't posted anything on Facebook in a good while. Uh I haven't given up. Uh I just got reported for hate speech almost 30 days ago. I haven't been able to post nothing for about a month. I usually uh post, you know, my workout videos when I'm working out and everything. Uh I'm looking like hell right now, you know, uh, I've been getting barely any sleep. When I try to get sleep, they fuck with me. Uh, they've been messing with my facial expressions big time. You know, like when I'm at work, they trigger my face to put a frown. <laughs> and, uh, and then they've been doing this deal, you know, between my eyebrows to go like that, you know, uh, always trying to get me fucking angered, mad. And when they can't, they fucking use the vibration, the direct energy weapon. And, uh, they do the fucking facial where it triggers my fucking muscle to go downward to make it seem like Leno's crying and I ain't crying. Uh, and then they also mess with my fucking eyes every now and then to feel like they burn. And, you know, they do all kinds of fucking things to fucking make me look bad. And, uh... I'm going way off track what I wanted to say. They always try to mind control me, try to make me sound like a fucking idiot. You know, I've been documenting as much as I can on my voice tracer. Uh, there's a lot that's been going on since I got reported for hate speech. You know, uh, the funny thing is I have an old Facebook account. You know, one of them's been hacked and I can no longer view it because they stole it. And it had all my pictures from Yosemite National Park. This was my Facebook page before I got V2K'd. Uh, and uh, I'm from Texas. I still live in Texas. Uh, I'm still getting V2K'd every fucking goddamn day. Every fucking day. Even right now, they're listening. Uh, a lot of them are going sexual right now. A uh, young girl says she's, she's going. Meaning she's going sexual. You know, uh, members in her shit. Holly Phillips is still a member of the fucking shit. She has a lot of dudes uh, gang stalking for her, gang stalking me, and uh, fucking with my stuff. You know, I try to keep my job. Uh, I got a job, you know, after I've been fired from my last job for posting uh, uh, about remote neural monitoring. Whoever uses remote neural monitoring is going to go to hell, you know, because that's the most evil ass shit someone can do to a person is remote neural monitoring. Them and you know, hit them with direct energy weapons or you know, voice the skull and harassing someone every fucking goddamn day while putting dynamic spiritual attacks and messing with someone's vibration and MK Ultra mind controlling, uh, inducing dreams, you know, the dream state. You know, it's no longer your natural dreams, it's them fucking with your, your uh, dreams when you're asleep, giving you nightmares, sexual dreams, anything to make you look bad or make you feel uncomfortable. Uh, they're doing. They've done it to me. It uh, still continues to this day. Uh, I've been fighting against it. Uh, earlier today when I was outside on my voice tracer documenting, they put the urge of, you know, masturbating. Uh, I know it wasn't me, but they've been doing that quite a bit, you know, to uh, the urge of masturbating. You know, so one of their young kids can go masturbating, and then they'll fucking lie and say it's Leno. Uh... But it's actually their members going sexual. You know, uh, I, I got a job. And I'm not going to say the company name because I told my employer that I usually keep my, my jobs and my, you know, my social media separate, you know, as much as I can. And, uh, but Albany people have been trying to get me fired. And uh, I do a damn good job at my job. You know, I tried my best. I try to give it my best, my best efforts, you know, to do what I need to do to get the job done. And uh, Albany people don't like that I'm making money, you know. They stole, they recently stole 168, between 168, if not plus, more money out of my bank account that I've ca caught. You know, uh, the money's not adding up. It's, uh, most of the times what they do is they'll uh, duplicate uh, charges that you have uh, bought or you know purchase they'll duplicate it and then uh, put the pending uh, 
have the pending it pending for like five days straight or maybe six you know even though you purchased it and it went through like uh my under armor shoes that i just purchased uh I paid for them on the 8th. They've already been shipped out. The company has already uh, received my payment. And it's still it's saying it's been pending. It started pending on the 11th, which is not correct. It started pending on the 8th. But they're making it seem like it's been pending since the 11th. They'll do things like that. They'll hack your, uh, your bank accounts, your apps, and they'll fucking move the pending, the pending charges uh, and make them last longer, and they'll uh, take money out which you out without you noticing it, you know. But if you start catching on, they'll move money around to try to make it add up to the things you've bought. But you gotta be, uh, you gotta watch out for things like that, and uh, they'll make it seem like you've, they'll make it look to where they want it to look, but the. The uh, remaining balance is not the remaining balance. That's what they want you to think, though. Uh, I've added my money. I've known $160, $160 plus was stolen from my account. It was duplicated, you know, so someone else could get the same uh, things that I buy or get, you know, or order. You know, uh, it's crazy how they do things like that, and it goes in trouble. I'm going to have to call the bank account tomorrow and let them know that my bank account's been hacked and even though i'll get a new card and change the deal uh they'll have just hack it again and uh the thing is my pending charges even the bank account will say well that's normal no it's not normal man uh i've like today uh i rented a movie uh from the red box yesterday which is the 11th was yesterday the 11th of may and it's saying that I rented the movie on the tenth, just so it can uh charge uh three dollars and ninety cents today, which I sent the movie back today. I rented it yesterday, uh, took it back today, before I even like early today, so I shouldn't even got charged to begin with. But the deal is saying that I rented the movie on the tenth when I actually rented it on the eleventh, and I just got charged like twice three times for that you know it was a dollar now it's i got charged like 390 uh they'll do things like that you know so you won't trace it or you know you won't notice it uh they've been doing all kinds of things man i've been documenting as much uh i got so much stuff on them you know they know i'm 100 percent right of what i've been saying and what i've been thinking about and what i've uh said on my voice tracer you know, I've been trying to get a vehicle, but Albany people have been contacting dealerships to try not to let me get a vehicle. Uh, they make things hard for me to do. You know, uh, uh, they're trying to get me fired. And uh, I'm doing my job, so there ain't no reason why I should get fired. But uh, so the woman tells these people keep on harassing, you know. Have him keep on harassing Lino so he quits his job. You know, if I keep my work truck clean and uh, in uh, good condition, we get bonuses for it. So they've been putting pin marks on the dashboard. They've been, uh, you know, they cut one of the bungee cords. Uh, they re uh, replace the sh uh, stuff around. Uh, one of them, they drilled a hole, and here recently, the other day, uh, I was driving my uh, work truck, and my windshield was clean as fuck. It was clean. It was like crystal clear. I was like, damn, my windshield was good, <laughs> you know, and uh, well, the when I came back to the, you know, back to the plant uh, or, you know, uh, the yard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I used the windshield wipers again and, you know, cleaned it off the windshield. And when I went into office and came back out and went on, went to another job location, uh, they had somebody drive by and shoot it with the BB gun and put a BB gun mark. Uh, there's a BB gun mark on the windshield now just because the windshield looked clean. 
and they wanted to fucking uh, fuck it up. They'll do they'll do shit like that, you know. And it's not even my fucking vehicle; it's the company's vehicle. And so imagine if I had my own ride, you know. That today they said, "Damn, man!" I heard them through V2K, you know, uh, chattering, chattering amongst themselves, uh, talking. You know, these people, these Albany people, these white people, they do have a white satanic pedophile ring. And I got a lot of stuff on here that explains what's going on. And they know I know. And they're mad that I fucking know. And uh, they talk so much shit. You know, especially these young dudes. They talk so much fucking shit. And, uh, you know, uh, and these adults too. You know, they can't, they can't handle it. And when I say they can't handle it, when I, I mean when I talk shit back to them after they make me mad and I talk shit back. They get mad and do shit like that. They go fucking mess with my work truck or they'll come by my house and do something, you know, or they'll do something to my parents' vehicles, you know, and they want me to miss. They want me to think that they're going to do it before they do it. So on the uh, on the on the device, the remote door device, it showed that they didn't do it and then they'll go do it. You know what I mean? Uh, like today, uh, if I they're like, damn, man. You should see what they uh, what they thought about if he gets a vehicle. You know, members within the Watson Tan Pedophile Court of Albany, Texas, and all the surrounding areas. You know, they got members from, like, areas all over Albany, Texas. You know, all around the surrounding towns. They got members in that shit. Uh, because they even shot my fucking work truck in the next town over where I work. And uh, with the BB gun. And they've done all kinds of stuff, man, to that work truck. You know, I've no, I've noticing it, and I've been documenting it, and I've wrote it on a post trip. And uh, you know, they're doing it because they want to fuck these women of Albany, Texas, and all the surrounding areas, especially these women in Albany, Texas. You know, they find her; she's like one of the most. They find her the attractive one of Albany, Texas. You know, they it's pretty much like they called her the queen earlier this week. You know, and today when I say it's pretty much a fucking breeding ground for her, you know, like she gets to fuck any guy she wants uh, and chooses any guy she wants, you know. And uh, a girl said, you know, damn, that's when she was hot, meaning that's when she got horny, you know, when I said that. And not just her, but all of them or basically a lot of them. And but the main one, you know, the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there's all kinds of things going on that's this been going on this past month. And I haven't been on Facebook because I was reported for hate speech because I speak my mind about this Watts Tampa Fire Colt who's using a remote neural device, voice to skull, direct energy weapons, and all that stuff that people use to gang stalk people. And uh, every time I speak up against them or every time... You know, they're talking shit and I, I end up talking shit back. They get mad and then they fucking go do some shit to uh, like the work truck or, you know, uh, to my parents' vehicles or my parents' uh, house or, you know, the yard or whatever it is, you know, uh, that will get them satisfied, you know, get that anger away. They'll fucking do something. They'll be like, well, I'm happy with that, you know. Uh, whatever gets them fucking, uh, like, doing something to get themselves, you know, satisfy themselves, you know, with doing something towards me. And, uh, like today they said, wait till you, you should see what they thought about when he gets a vehicle, you know, like putting piss all over the fucking truck. If I get a truck, they'll throw piss all over it. You know, the door handles, put piss, cum, whatever, body fluids, all kinds of shit, break into my fucking vehicle, putting some stuff in the seats, the, uh, steering wheel, the knobs, the fucking... Anything that well, I have to touch, they'll fucking put some body fluids so it'd be on my hands. If I were to touch my face, they'd be like, ugh, you know, shit like that. I mean, some fucked up shit. When I did have a vehicle back when I was younger, they keyed it. And then I remember they had, after they had keyed it, I expected my truck. I didn't know, like, you know, uh, I didn't do anything to piss anybody off then, you know. It was just people straight up hating you know, like I said today, I was like, you motherfuckers, y'all just hate to see someone come up that's not in your fucking goddamn ring, your sex ring, your pedophile ring, your fucking group, 
you hate to see someone come up that's not in your shit, especially like someone that knows what y'all do and has been exposing the shit y'all do. You hate to see someone come up. Like that's why every time I had a job or something good was happening, I it was always sabotaged. And I know where it's coming from now. You know, since I've been V2K since May 12, 2016. Uh you know, they keyed my ride when I had a ride when I was younger, from the door handle all the way to the goddamn tail lot. And then when that happened, you know, I would expect I would inspect my truck in the mornings. I had found a bungee cord wrapped around my brake line. And both the hooks connected back to the fucking uh, rim, inside the rim. So that way when I take off, the tire will start tightening up the bungee cord tight enough to rip that fucking brake line off. And once that brake line gets ripped off, the bungee cord snaps off the fucking uh, rim. And it will be no evidence. It will be somewhere on the fucking road. And I would be without no brakes. That was one way how they were, they were trying to get me to get in a wreck. But I ended up wrecking that truck when my front tire blew out. Kind of odd, kind of weird. And, uh, uh, well, anyways, they said wait till he gets a vehicle. And I can't imagine the shit they'll do to my vehicle if I were to get a vehicle. I mean, they're already doing shit to my fucking work truck. And it's not even my fucking vehicle. It's a fucking company vehicle. Uh, big ass vehicle. And they shot it. They shot it with a BB gun here like a day and a half ago, two days ago. With a BB gun. Or yesterday. Was it yesterday? Like, yeah, yesterday. Uh, there's been so much going on. They, uh, I've been working out for a good while. And the past two and a half weeks, uh, probably three, they've been really hitting me with MK Ultra Mind Control for me not to work out. I've been jogging. Uh, I haven't let up on that. Not really. I've been still pushing myself on that. But I remember them saying, an older man saying that's also a part of Albany SWAT Satanic Pedophile Group who lives in Albany, who's also teaches these kids how to get away with shit. He had said, uh, he had said, uh, well, at least he still gets jogging, you know, that he still gets jogging. Uh, that he still gets jogging. That means that, like, even though they MK Ultra Mind Control me to, uh, not work out after I jog because even after I jog and even though I'm tired after I jog I still work out I still got motivation to work out uh my motivation to work out is strong and it's fucking energized you know that's me naturally and they steal that and gaslight it to themselves to make themselves work out uh it's done by direct energy weapon MK Ultra Mind Control and the remote neural device and things I think about like you know uh to keep myself motivated and to keep pushing myself harder when I'm jogging and working out, they also steal from me. You know, like my dedication, my heart, uh, uh, my concentration, and the motivation. They steal the motivation big time. It's like every time I get done jogging and I'm ready to work out, I can feel it, man. I, I'm ready to work out. It's my motivation. It's me. Uh, instant kill, man. Instant. Instantly, I just... Don't want to work out. Just like, bam, gone. And uh, sometimes I, ch I still try to work out. And it's like I'm struggling, man. And it's I know they're using the remote neural device to uh, get me not to work out. And a woman said it's because they know he'll hit harder if I were to get in a fight. Uh, because I do know how to fight. I do know how to defend myself. I've always been a, uh, a person that knows how to fight. Even when I was a kid, I was growing up. Uh always knew how to fight this motherfucker started fucking laughing just now through v2k and uh you know when she said uh because he knows he will hit harder they know he will hit harder uh they're full of shit she's trying to steal it for uh one of her fucking members you know back in 2017 uh every time when i was working out and jogging the thought of andy hawkins andy glick would pop up in my head that's because they were uh stealing my motivation and everything for him and today, you know, a woman said, uh, a woman did say, you know, uh, she was talking shit about me and, but he's also a part of one of her, her, like in her group. She's one, she's one of the guys that, that fucks, you know, and, uh, me and him got in a fight back in, uh, 2016, I believe, 17, 
16, him revving his engine by my house and me uh, looking for the person who did it and I uh, caught him up at Ossip's. And they use that remote neural device to fucking uh, help him out, you know, uh, in the end when he took off running. And uh, I tripped his ass and got on top of him. I was about to lay haymakers down on him, but I felt like someone was fucking recording me. And it, I looked up, you know, and it also made me stop. Like something made me stop not to like to not hit him. And they said that's protection. No, but the thing is, they will use that fucking device to have their members uh, fuck with people, and they will fucking steal people's uh, way, a fighting style and vibration, and uh, knowing how to fight. And they stole that fucking shit from me, knowing how to fucking fight. And they gaslight it to each other, you know, uh, so they won't get their ass kicked. And if they're, uh, it's like giving them their members the upper hand basically while uh using direct energy weapon to scare the opponent or the person that's trying to defend himself when they know he's a fighter like richard lemay he once told me that you know uh he said uh, he knew a big guy that was like strong as fuck to pick up drill pop on his own and everything and he said that's when you you uh, like talking about using hypnosis to take that away from him you know he's also a part of that fucking shit that uh remote neural monitors and they do all kinds of fucking shit like that. You know, you got to hypnotize them, is what he said. But I know it's not hypnotized. It's direct energy weapon. It's remote neural monitoring and MK Ultra mind control. They will steal that from people, you know, uh, fighting styles and give it to their members, you know, to uh, whip ass. You know, even though they're the ones that start shit. It's like, it's like letting, uh, hey, I'm going to have my member, you know, uh, talk shit and, uh, use a device to uh, whoop your ass even though you're a fucking good ass fighter i'm gonna take that away from you so you get your ass whooped so you can't defend yourself pretty much you know it's like letting them get away with their members getting away with all kinds of shit while you have to fucking uh uh struggle you know with everything just like uh working out man uh they don't want me to work out because they know i hit harder too and they, they switch it around because, like, when I'm working out, jogging, a lot of people in Albany know that I jog a lot. And I also work out when, after I get done jogging. But here recently, you know, like that guy said, well, at least he, was, he still get or, you know, he still wins jogging. It's what he said. He still wins jogging, you know, cardio or whatever, you know, because uh, people in Albany see me jogging. So uh, they can't they can't lie that they can't lie about it. But they lie to everybody else that, you know, out of town members that are not in Albany that don't see me jogging. You know, they'll lie to those people. And those people don't give a fuck, even if they did know, because they're gang stalking also and they want everything out of it. So in Albany, you know, uh, when I'm jogging, they don't broadcast it because people will know that Albany people are lying. You know, that, oh, well, damn, then that dude is jogging, you know. You know, is jogging. You know, the other day when I was jogging, I was thinking about it was basically yesterday or the other day. Uh, the other day, uh, I was thinking about how you know I'm all natural. I go all natural, but you know they say Leno's not all natural anymore because he went to five star nutrition and got some supplements. You know, testosterone booster, and you know he takes pre workout and all that stuff. I haven't taken nothing in a fucking like minute. You know, not really. And I just bought a new bottle of fucking testosterone booster today. You know, which it's not working for some reason man it's like uh my muscle gains every time i get fucking in shape and my muscles are building up pretty damn fucking good like you should see my you should see me when i'm fucking working out man i mean my phone there's no justice i was telling my my boss the other day at my at work i was like dude i gotta get a new phone man every time i make a fucking workout video or you know try to take a picture in the mirror like it can't capture my definition or you know and uh like the other day when i was jogging though uh i was thinking about you know me going all natural and jogging and then everybody around me that is using a remote neural device to fucking use direct energy weapon to keep them fucking jogging faster longer and uh, uh stunt people's motivation to fucking uh last longer but me keeping up with them 
as being natural though that was always me that's always been me you know even growing up i did not use a device people didn't use a device for me didn't need to just like i told y'all back in my video about football how uh people were cheating and these days these high school kids are cheating also and they're mad because i exposed that too <sighs> but i was thinking about that and these girls like that's a natural one you know uh, that's natural right there you know and then they switched it with blake brewster uh they're like well that was blake's you know then why did it show that it was blake's you know and uh, i was like because uh probably because he was probably using the fucking device or somebody was using it for him because it, it it's crazy how when i was a kid you know growing up in high school junior high and high school i was lifting the sh like i was pretty fucking strong man and i worked out like a motherfucker and I lift heavier than most of the people in my grade, except for probably like one person. Probably we probably lift like about the same. And uh all of a sudden these guys, man, just started getting stronger out of fucking nowhere, dude. Like how the fuck? And uh anyway. With that, you know, uh you know, and just like you know, jogging when I'm jogging, man, I I jog and uh the things I think about, you know, if I were to get in a fight, you know, I, I'll jog even harder, man, because I know that People in, in fights get winded quick, and my fighting style has always been a boxer, boxing style. That's how I fucking fight. And they've been stealing that. They were stealing it in 2017, and they were stealing my motivation and everything, and they were giving it to Andy Hawkins. You know, these girls were too also that find him attractive, and they've been fucking, you know. And uh, that's the thing, man. I don't give a fuck how big you are. Y'all been stealing some shit, dude. And uh, I'm trying to work out. And they think that my working out is just to kick people's ass. Like I told a girl, uh, I'm trying to order some supplements now again. Uh, I ordered from Akimi Labs. And uh, they fucked up. They fucked with, they hacked the deal and changed the fucking uh, area code to a New York number area code. And that's because I live in Albany, Texas. They wanted to switch it. You see what I mean? Albany, New York and Albany, Texas. Yeah, they switched it. And uh, they also, they hacked the billing address to make it look like a fraud. So I got an email today uh, talking about how uh, my billing address got marked as a fraud, possible fraud. So they had to cancel my order. That's because Albany, Texas, white boys, they don't want to get embarrassed which was said today by their own members. I don't even think I was supposed to hear that. You know, especially these young boys, dude. They, uh, they are fucking the, these housewives of Albany, Texas. They're uh, masturbating for these housewives. They're learning how to masturbate. You know, they're getting penis pumps. You know, like these older women said, get a penis pump, you know, to these older... And I've had a penis pump before, man. And I just didn't fucking use it. And... uh they think that this girl started laughing. They think it's fucking hilarious, you know, but she, you know, these women, this older woman, the, one of the ringleaders, she has told these young dudes to get penis pumps. And, uh, and that right there, you know, a lot of these women, whoever watched my videos, I know you're going to get turned on by that and you're going to get fucking goddamn, uh, they're already watching you. And most of you people are already fucking a part of the fucking shit. So, uh, like I said in one of my videos, this really ain't for the goddamn Albany people, because Albany people don't give a shit. They would have they would have done something by now if they gave a shit. What they're doing is they do give a shit about their fucking ring getting exposed. They're trying to keep it hidden. They're trying to keep it uh covered up. At the same time, they want it, they want it to be fucking like people to watch my videos. They want uh new members, they want to recruit new members because of things I talk about, you know, like a pedophile sex ring. Like uh, earlier in the week, uh, a girl said, because they're bold as fuck, because they know they will never get caught, because, uh, like I told uh, City Cop today, uh, not today, the other day, the chief uh, officer, City Cop, I said, some of these things, this thing is hard to prove, man, because it goes untraceable, it's technology, it's hard to fucking trace, man. It's one of the hardest things to trace, it's one of the hardest things to prove, so that's why they get away with it, and that's why they get bolder. And, uh, and they talk a lot of shit knowing that, uh, their fucking, their words and their fucking goddamn fucking shit doesn't get recorded. And if it ever gets recorded, all they do is, you know, uh, 
go back and edit they'll have another target you know they'll say the same words they said to me while talking shit and they'll fucking go find a target and make him think about saying those words by fucking saying it out loud where that person hears it you know they do the same thing to me they've done it many a fucking times you know to make me look bad or to make me seem like it was me that said some fucked up shit or you know trying to go sexual with an underage girl or you know uh uh, or anything like that so that's that's how they cover up their tracks and that's exactly how also they get away with uh that they'll say that it happened to one one of them that's what they'll say that oh what happened to me you know uh they were gang stalking me gang stalkers try to act like uh target individuals these perpetrators white satanic pedophile cult of albany texas will try to make themselves and others look like targets you know uh like my cement truck or God damn it. My fucking work truck uh, will uh, get sabotaged and they'll, they'll say it's someone else's work truck getting sabotaged and that Leno's doing it to his work truck. And that's why. Uh, and so they'll get other members to start fucking with my work truck and uh, to have it sabotaged. But uh, like like that girl said, uh, like I was saying, you know, uh, people that do watch my videos, they'll get turned on by this. And uh, so a lot of people that they have watched, to get to watch, or, you know, that have watched my videos, they will have that person, you know, already stalking that person. Like, if you're really attractive, they, and before, like, before you even heard about anything, they wanted you to come to my Facebook page or, you know, they wanted you to watch one of my videos to see what you think about and if you ever got turned on or, you know, uh, yeah, got turned on, they will lure you in. They will start mind controlling you. They'll start making you think of a top, uh, a certain person within the ring that uh, you might like or that you don't even like at all. They will even fucking make you start thinking about that person, you know, to start thinking sexual about that person so you, uh, they can have sex with you. And this shit is going south, man, because... Oh my god, that's why when I found out what it was, uh, pedophile ring, sex ring, uh, a lot of people got turned on when they heard the word sex ring, so I would eliminate the word sex out of my sentence, because I knew people would get turned on with, you know, just the word sex ring, and, but it is satanic, and they do a lot of satanic shit, and a lot of people, they don't show that. You know, they don't show that shit to, and a lot of people, they have to make shit up about me, and they'll be like, well, okay, then he deserves it, you know, he deserves that shit, but, uh, that's how they also get away with shit like that, but it is satanic, and it is ran by the white people, and, uh, I'm done saying, uh, well, I ain't racist, well, I ain't fucking racist, man, but, uh, they have put, manipulated some racial slur words in my head, over the years many times over the years that it seems like it's automatically coming out of my mouth now and uh that's what they wanted they wanted that to happen so it'd be a lot easier for people to turn against me or for them to have people turn against me or for people to agree with them and to do things with them you know towards me you know that's was one of their goals and for it to be easier on their behalf to do things you know by doing shit like that and you know like i said they watched you go to my facebook page and saw what you thought about and if they can they'll start manipulating your mind mk ultra mind controlling to make you start thinking of members in their group you know even guys that you probably never would have hooked up with or you know uh never thought about hooking up with you know uh they will start making you think of that person just so you can have sex with and this girl said we win because well she's just a fucking hoe because like one of them i said you know uh you probably weren't you know they mk ultra mind control you to get horny and this right here is just make oh my god it's just all these all you women out there and guys are gonna get fucking turned on by this shit because that's exactly what she said also this young girl she was like you know y'all are a pedophile ring and i know what the fuck y'all are and she said uh they would just get horny anyway you know uh, if they heard me say that, or if I were to tell people it's a pedophile ring, and uh, she said that you guys out there would get horny anyway, 
and that's how they will recruit you because they will, they will see that you got horny and they will recruit you. So I know a lot of people in Albany, Texas are a part of this shit because I've seen a lot of shit y'all do and I've seen you. I've seen a lot of shit even though the device is different. I have seen a lot of shit. Just like the other day they thought I fell asleep and they fucking were saying some shit. And uh, they're like, well, y'all thought he was asleep, you know, because they get onto each other for, you know, blurring out things or me even seeing things. Like the other day I saw some other sh some shit too because they thought I was asleep. And uh, they thought I fell asleep. And sometimes I'll wake up and see the shit. And sometimes, you know, I'll see the shit because I'll see the shit. And they can't understand how I do that. And uh, I have seen a lot of you out there, you know, especially young ones too. And you young ones talk a lot of fucking shit. And uh, because you're underage, you don't consider yourself a fucking pedophile because you're underage. And that's how you're getting away with a lot of shit. <sighs> anyway... Like like she said, she would uh, they would just get horny anyway. So that was pretty like they rec they recruiting everybody, man. And it is the devil's army, man. And because I say that, I know that about you. I know you're just like you just stop listening. Well, it is the fucking devil's army, and y'all evil as fuck. And I ain't giving up, man. I'll never give up. Like you know my facial expressions. Uh, they fucking do that fucking like. Make it look like fucking, like, they will fucking trigger my facial expression and make it seem like I'm frowning when I ain't frowning. And, uh, <laughs> I need to get some fucking sleep, man, because uh, I'm looking a little rough. And they'll say, uh, that's because Lino does drugs or, you know, this and that, or he stays up all night. I ain't trying to stay up all night. I got, I got to get up early in the fucking mornings to go to work. And, uh, just like today, I got off work early today, and I was hoping to go to sleep early, and it's already fucking 9, 10 p.m. And, uh, the thing is, you know, uh, a lot of people do get turned on by this, and, uh, she know, they know that shit, too. And another cover-up that I know about theirs is because these women of Albany, Texas, a lot of people will think they're not. No, Lino's lying because she's not like that. I mean, I know her, you know, uh, she's not like that. Well, they're gang stalking and they read your fucking mind with their fucking remote neural device and they know, you know, they, they know that you think that way about them. So why you think that about them, they know that they can get away with it. So that's what, when uh, they know that you think that's how you think about them, like, oh, no, she can't be a part of that. You know, she's a, she goes to church. She does this. You know, when they know that, when they know that's how you think about them, that's when they're fucking doing all kinds of fucking shit. And that's when they're cover-ups. And they know I know that. That's why they told each other, well, just post that he knows y'all now. I Meaning like he knows y'all's cover-up. He knows one of the covers. That's what they said. They told each other to say, uh, just say he knows one of the covers, like cover up, you know, how to get away with it. And that is one of their cover ups, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, they know what, they know how you think about them, you know, well, she can't be like that. And that's, and when they think, when you think like that about them, that's when they're doing a lot of shit because they know you don't suspect anything. And that goes for the men too, man. Anyways, my gains have dropped dramatically, man. Dramatically. And uh, like I said, I, I jog. And every time I jog, I work out. And uh, that's the thing, man. I work out. And I have that motivation, man. That motivation is so strong, dude. They steal it. And they'll fucking mind control, man. They'll kill that fucking motivation with fucking direct energy weapons. Just like, bam, in an instant. Like... I don't even feel like working out. I don't even feel like doing shit. I just want to come home and not even do a damn thing, man. That's how that fucking weapon, and I know it is, man, is fucking powerful. It is a fucking powerful fucking weapon. And I know that. And they know that I know that. And they 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 getting away with it, man. It's just like they are the fucking devil, man. They can get anything they fucking want on this earth, dude. And they don't even have to wait on God. They don't even, it's like, 
why ask God for it when we can get it with this device? And that's how they think, man. That's exactly how they fucking think. And in the Bible, it says the devil's powerful, but he's not all that fucking powerful. And they think they're fucking more fucking powerful than God because I'll read a scripture or, you know, uh, yeah, I'll read a scripture how, you know, uh, whatever God gives you will prosper. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> these people man god has given me a new job and everything and they're trying to sabotage that fucking shit or you know uh anything you have will prosper they will try to fucking sabotage it man and because th if they accomplish sabotaging it they'll be like well uh we're stronger than god you know they said that to me in jail some similar words like that where's your god at al you know you know uh and this is a battle i have to fight and now because i just thought about something and they saw how I thought about it and how they thought about it. They're going to manipulate. They're going to say, well, uh, that wasn't God helping Leno now. Or God ain't helping Leno now. That's how they see it now. Because they're the ones sabotaging me and trying to take away anything that God puts in my path. You know, like I said, man, God has put a lot of fucking things in my path. But these people are working as hard as they can to have things taken away from me. You know, and that's the devil. And if it doesn't, and if I can't get it, you know, they'll say, then uh, they used to say, then you know, they used to think we're stronger than God. And, you know, but now they're going to start using, well, it wasn't God helping Leno or Leno, ain't, uh, God ain't helping Leno. That's what they're using now. That's, it is 9.15 p.m. And that's going to be the new fucking saying amongst each other. Well, God ain't helping Leno no more. I'm on the fucking good side. And I know what I've done. I know what I haven't done. And I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Because you were never there for me anyway. You know, there was a lot of people that sabotaged me when I was in school, since grade school and since everything, you know. There's a lot of people that had my back. And there's a lot of times, you know, just because I left high. I mean, I, I like I said, uh, man, I was been gang stalked since high school, man. And, you know, I left high school, dude. And uh, I've been gang stalked. And uh, these people have been watching these kids, you know, since I was in school. And sexually and all kinds of shit, man. And these people think they got shit on me. And they ain't got shit on me, dude. They just make a lot of shit up. And they have been watching these people, even ki even when I was in school, man, watching these kids go sexual. And, uh, and had some of these kids in their fucking ring. You know, as the years went by, man, they just got bolder and bolder and bolder and bolder. And uh, there's people from my grade as part of this shit. You know, and a lot of this younger generations that I didn't even go to school with talk a lot of fucking shit. You know, there's these kids, man, that don't want me to get in shape because they don't want to get embarrassed. You know, even one of their fucking so-called mothers. You know, they call them mothers. That means uh, women that train the kids how to fucking uh, masturbate, how to fucking gang stalk, how to talk, how to use words differently while gang stalking, how to use words uh, for different meanings so people can't pick it up unless you have a fucking remote neural device and, and it, it shows what that person actually meant when they say a different word. Uh, but I catch on to the things like that. I catch on to a lot of things like that and they can't understand how I know things like that. And they can't understand that I hit a lot of the things on the spot right on. And they're like, that's because somebody's helping him, you know, or because we wanted him to know that. You know, I said, y'all some stupid motherfuckers, man, because if I had a remote neural device, you wouldn't know shit about me. Or you wouldn't know the shit that I'd be doing. Or any of that shit. I'm not doing anything wrong or anything. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying that if I was, a, which I'll never be a fucking gang stalker dude because I know what the fuck they do to people. It's fucking evil as shit. I've gone through shit. I know what the shit is. I even said if it went the other way around and no matter how many hot women y'all had, dude, I'd have to walk away from it because the evil shit they fucking do. And they're like, no, you wouldn't, Leno, because they got so many hot women, dude. And, you know, uh, the sex and everything else, the power. That's why they're fucking bound to that shit. That's why they can't fucking leave it. That's why they're always fucking on it 24 fucking 7. A lot of them are on it like every fucking day, man. They, and I tell them, man, why don't you just sign the fuck off, man, and leave me the fuck alone. If you hate me, why the fuck are you watching me? 
why the fuck are you always fucking because they're they want to steal my vibration man they want to steal my facial expressions like that's why they give me frowns when i'm not even fucking crying or don't even feel <clears throat> feel sad or any of that fucking shit like when i'm at work driving uh all of a sudden my fucking vibration will fucking change for like the worst dude and they'll fucking trigger my fucking face to do that shit because they want to make me look ugly dude and uh and when I was in jail, they said Lena was on, they told a lot of people that Lena was on drugs. That's why he got skinny. That's why he was skinny. And that's why he looked horrible or some shit like that. You know, they make up all kinds of fucking shit. They lie. They bullshit. And uh, I was going to tell you something else, but they killed that. They just killed that thought. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, the other day when I was going to, uh, Brookshire's to go get some uh some orange juice and uh a movie to watch the movie i was talking about how they fucking said it was uh, rented on the 10th when it was actually rented yesterday uh well the other day also i went to Brookshire's and i felt the direct energy weapon hit me hard man uh it was kind of hard it like it seemed like the closer i got to fucking Brookshire's my facial expression it's like inside it's it's weird how i explain it it's like even though i have like a straight it's like inside man like the inside deal it's like it's like something pulling on your fucking skin trying to trying to drag your face down and uh i was like man there must be a hot girl here at brookshire's man or at brookshire's because i can feel that fucking uh y'all's direct energy weapon triggering my face and your mk ultra mind control triggering my face and uh i can feel that shit i know when that's happening and i said there must be a hot girl up here and i saw a vehicle who i thought might have been and then i was like nah maybe not because she's kind of older but uh uh maybe they might find someone more a little bit attractive but i was like man there's got to be a hot chick here or someone they find attractive that's what i mean like hot chick that they find attractive and uh well, <laughs> I was 100% fucking right, man. <laughs> they do that fucking shit where your fucking face looks, seems like you're frowning. And they'll change your vibration to feel like nervous or scared or like a pussy. And uh, that girl who's also connected to it will feel that. And she will think it's like 